Welcome back to Let's Build a Gundam. This is part two of construction, and we're going to be building an arm and a leg. Uh, these were built off camera, and by the time we finish this, we'll have identicals to both of these pieces. Um, these pieces will be uh, getting ready to be primed, along with the other body parts that were built in the previous episodes. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. We are going to start on the arm. Since it's the next thing that pops up in our manual. And honestly, takes a whole lot less time to do over the legs. So, got all of our pieces here and ready to go. Um, I also don't have the hand pieces in this batch because uh, they're already separated. They're going to be painted separately. And uh, there's a whole lot of them. And you necessarily don't have to attach the hands into these because all the hands are interchangeable. Uh, so you can just do whatever you want with them. So the first pieces that we need are this piece. We need the other part of the shoulder joint. And we need our buckle that our shoulder armor will attach to so we're going to put our actually no we need the shoulder joint i'm getting a step ahead of myself i've only built this kit three times before so <laughs> uh so got our Piece right here. This will go into that buckle that I just had. Turn that around. Since this will be our right arm. And attach our buckle like so. Make sure that it's attaching there firmly and make sure that this piece is facing outward. Uh, we're going to put this aside. We're going to start building on the forearm. So we need this piece. We need this piece, we need this, and we need our piston coupling, or whatever that piece is called. I'm going to take this piece, we're going to make sure that we have this piece oriented correctly. Make sure it's in here like so. So this piece is actually going to fold into the arm like this so that when this piece articulates so this will become the elbow and this piece will go inside of this little recess right here so have that here we need to put this uh, joint or the uh, the place for the piston right there and it might help if I flip this over and get it aligned correctly so make sure that these align make sure that this goes in correctly and there we go we have an elbow built cool we're already moving along pretty bristly we're going to put this piece aside we're going to build on our forearm next. So we need this piece. We need this back cabling that goes behind it. We're going to insert it right there. We're then going to take this piece that we just had. We're going to put it on this little rod. And take our other piece and sandwich it in. See? Already have pretty much 90% of the arm already done. Super, super quick. These arms necessarily aren't uh, difficult. They're just different. So um, we have our little piston that we put in there. This will become our wrist joint. Just pops into place right there. Let's go ahead and flip the page over. And 
we want this <laughs> to go there. Pop this on top. We have our little piece here that goes on here. This will accent the uh, the upper arm, and we're done with that piece. Now we're going to separate these two parts out. We're going to build our hand really quick. So we need those, we need that, and we need our thumb. So, super, super quick. This is one of the pieces to our wrist. We're going to attach it on to the other piece of our wrist right here, which will create our point of articulation for the wrist. This opening here, will then attach to the hand, like so. We're going to put our thumb inside of it and curl it around. So this becomes our palm. And then this little piece will pop in like this to give a back of a hand to our Barbatos and Make sure that our thumb is sealed in place. It has this little rod that goes in behind the thumb. And just like that, we got another identical arm. Pretty sweet, eh? Um, there's some builds of this like that take a little bit longer and a little bit more intricate. But like I said, like Barbatos in places is very intricate. You can mess it up, but there's other places that are very simple on it, and that kind of makes it a really, really fun build. So, got that part done. Uh, we have another part that we're going to add on later. This is actually going to go with our armor pieces. Um, but we're also going to paint this uh, with our frame. So, this piece will be primed as well. So, we got two of those for both of our arms. I want to set those aside to put on alligator clips later. And we're going to move on to our leg unit. So, this will actually be the last piece of our internal frame. And so, after this will be um, the introduction to our Black 3.0. I'm going to do a test painting on that on a entry grade RX-72 just so we see how it goes onto the plastic and um, adheres and all that kind of stuff. So we'll at least get like a little bit of a test done before we start applying it to the Barbados. But I'm gonna prime the EG just like what I would this. Um, but let's go ahead and get rolling on this guy. So the first thing we need is we need this piece right here, we're going to need this little bronze piece right here that will go on the hip joint. Let's see, where is the other piece at? Now, the legs on this, they necessarily aren't difficult, but there's lots of things that kind of intertwine on itself, and it can get, uh, it can get confusing at points. So, um, when I was building the sister to this leg last night i was actually having to take apart the piece a few times either from a piece that i didn't realize that i missed or uh from just getting something incorrect so these legs uh, they, they aren't difficult but if you don't know exactly what's going on or if you get lost just a little bit you get lost overall so we actually need this other bronze piece that corresponds correctly. So we'll flip it over. We'll put this other bronze piece like so. Put that to the side. Now we're going to start working on our feet. So we need this piece, this piece. We need, let's see, we need this big guy. This will actually be the main part of our foot. We need this piece that kind of hunkers down on it. And we need... Let's see, where is that cylindrical piece? Here we go, we need a cylindrical piece. 
So I'm going to take this piece, throw it on here like so. On here like this. And we need our... Let's see, where's our hoop? There's the hoop. So this will go between two pieces that sandwiches it. So take this piece on here like this. We need its sister piece, which is right here. We're going to take these two pieces. We're going to sandwich it like this. So now we have the ball of the foot. We got an ankle. And next, we're going to make the rest of our foot. So, attach this piece here. This will be the arch. The arch then goes onto the top of our foot and bottom of our foot, like so. So now we have the entire internal foot done. Set that off to the side along with our hip joint. And now we get to um, the the more confusing part of this, which is the uh, the upper and um, mid leg. So it's the rest of it, pretty much like the the upper leg and the funny bone of it. Um, this can get a little confusing if you're not really really paying attention. So you need this piece. This will hook into here. Let's see. Yep. Just need to get it in there the right way. So it has a little slot in there that I need to get into. It's not. Let's go from the other direction. Let's see. Where's the sister piece? Actually, no, it has to be that one. Let's go ahead and take this piece. Well, Insert it in here like this. And I'm going to go ahead and curve this upper piece of beer. So we can do it now instead of later. Because that's where I wanted to introduce uh, the alligator clamp to paint it. This is where I'm going to hold it. So it slots in here. And there's a little tooth that catches in here as well. So I'm going to take that. We're going to... Uh, let's set this here. Actually, we need our uh, a pipe here to go right there. And we're going to have a piston go in there in a couple seconds. So, that's the upper leg done. Um, we have this piece here, this piece here. And we have a little piston. This will go in here. This piece then goes inside, like so. We're going to guide our piston into its shaft. No, I'm using the wrong terminology, but oh well. <laughs> guide it in, like so, and sandwich it in. Making sure that we are guiding correctly. There's actually two grooves that guide you into making sure that you're putting in the, the correct place. And you see that groove there. Got that. All right. Next thing we're going to do is build our knee. So we got... This piece, got a piece right here, got a piece right here. This will be the internal of our knee. And pop out on here like so. Let's see. Take this piece. Push it inside. Actually, we're going to go for the other end on it. That's not it. 
Yeah, we want this end to go right here. And it's going to fill in this groove right here. Make sure that I have this oriented correctly. Like I said um, earlier, if you don't have everything oriented just correctly, it's not going to work. See, there we go. Now we got it correct. <laughs> All right, so we have our, like here, we have another piece that goes inside, like so, and right here it has our little check right here to make sure that our leg is looking correct and is oriented the correct way so got good movement out of it looks correct to the drawing so we're going to keep on going next thing we need is this piece right here it's going to connect to a little rod that's in here into this little hole connect it in here like so, get in there. There we go. Just like that. We have a little tube that goes into this little place and hooks into these little recesses. Um, it necessarily doesn't do anything mechanical, but it looks good on the back of the leg. Want to come down? Uh, grab this piece. This is going to be the top of our ankle. And, oh, we got to shave a little bit off that. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's grab our hobby knife. There we go. Cool. Nub gone. Okay. I'm going to take this. We're going to insert it here, and we have a little joint uh, that's going to go into another shaft. See, there's a couple more pieces that I didn't shave off. Huh. Apparently, I was getting tired when I was prepping this leg and didn't get all the nubs. It's either that or I just missed a piece when I was doing the cleaning. Um, all of those things can happen. So we're going to take that. We have this piece and its sister piece, which are the, uh, the main part of our lower leg. So this little piston thing goes right here. It's going to insert into this little, um, this little hole right here. Our rest of our brass piece is going to insert in a little tab down here. We want to make sure that our little part stays in, like so. And then we're going to sandwich these pieces together with the rest of our leg. So this part is a little tricky because there's multiple contact places for this leg. So make sure that everything is lined up correctly. Uh, I'm going to make sure that uh, this little groove is synced in correctly, that there's a hole that this little um, this little rod on the other side goes into in here. And when this fits over, everything should just snug in fine. Lots of contact places. Make sure that everything is aligned correctly. We're good to go. Nope. Oh, we got a little tab there that we need to get aligned. There we go. Nope, it's still not aligning correctly. See? So let's get those. Let's get those aligned. There we go. It's good to go. 
Let's good to go. Gonna take this little rod. We're gonna attach it to the back of our ankle. And this is gonna simulate that little, uh, I guess is your hamstring. Um, going to insert it into this little piston slot right there. We're going to put this little uh, male piece into the female piece down here. Make sure it's at the correct angle. And we're there. We got our other leg put together. All right, so these are getting ready to get primed um, along with the arms. Um, and next thing we're going to do is do a paint test on our EG RX-78 uh, when our Black 3.0 comes in. That should be sometime next week, probably around Wednesday. So we'll probably do one Wednesday or Thursday. Um, depending on when the paint game is in. But keep staying tuned. This is getting interesting. And this is going to be really, really fun. It's V85. Over and out.